guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is daisy and today i'm going to be showing you my disney pin collection I have been collecting pins since I was really young. Ever since I've been to the parks, I've always bought pins. And when I was younger, I used to trade them too. I have two big bags full of pins. They both have handles on and they both have straps. So if you do want to take them to the park and do some trading, then they're really helpful for that. I don't really take mine into the park anymore because I'd rather reminisce on all of the years of trading I've done and I now just collect them. But they're both really good quality bags. I have over 100 pins between the two bags so it's really nice to store them. They're both from Disneyland Paris. I think you can still buy this one but I think this one I must have got a while ago. On the front it says Pin Trading Princess. So this one's my favourite. Really nice and it's glittery so I just keep all of my princess kind of themed ones in this one and then this one has got everything else in so with that being said let's get right into the video so let's open up the first page this is our mickey and minnie themed page and there's lots of these that i've had for many many years this one here is my happy birthday one and i love that it spins I got this for my 19th birthday when I was working in Disney. This one here is Disneyland Paris 25th anniversary cast member pin. And so that one's very exclusive and very special. This one here is also one of my favorites. This one has nice little dangly bits on it. This one spins round like this. It's a limited edition pin and it's got the comic and then it's got the post side of it. Moving on to the next page, we have the Daisy Duck page. Anyone who doesn't know, I was named after Daisy Duck, so she's always been one of my favourite characters. I just think she's so sassy and I love her. I have a lot of Daisy Duck plushes as well. We've got some cute ones. This one's from Walt Disney World. Most of my pins are from Disneyland Paris. I don't really buy them from the Disney Store much. I think I have a couple of Disney Store ones. I've got a few from Walt Disney World, but mainly Disneyland Paris because that is my home park. The next page is my Peter Pan page. Sometimes I either find one on the floor or people give them to me if they find them. And this one was one of those. And it's a Disneyland Paris dangly one. And then this came in a big collection that I got from Walt Disney World. They say Walt Disney World on the front here and most of them are princess ones. So when I get into the princess book, I will show you the rest of these, but this is the Tinkerbell one, they're really cute. They have a little mirror inside and then a photo and the name of the character. For the whole set, I think they were like $50, which seems crazy because now they would probably be over $100 for the whole set because they are very rare. 2003 pins, so they are quite old some more of the pins here and this one is just Tinkerbell when she's trapped in the lantern and the door opens there which is really nice and it's magnetic moving on to the next page this is just my general page of ones that I only really have one of each character this one is actually one that I traded which is a Hong Kong Disneyland pin I've never been to the Asian park so it's actually really nice for me to have one that I've not been able to get myself this one's a Disney store one and the Cheshire Cat swings which is really cute the slinky dog he moves a little bit and then this cute one of Stitch is one of my favorites too because it's Tower of Terror Stitch. That was actually included in a lanyard that my sister bought from Disneyland Paris and it came with six stitches and it's like a starter kit. You could trade them all so that you didn't have more than one of those. So she traded one of her pins with me a long time ago. Moving on to the next page. So this is my attraction page and hotels and lands. We've got Disneyland Hotel um, Paris, that is. Disneyland Hotel in California. Hotel Cheyenne, which I've stayed in many times because my mum's dance school used to dance there a lot. We used to stay in the Hotel Cheyenne every time we went. This Splash Mountain one, I love this because it goes up and down. That's one of my absolute favourite pins ever. And Splash Mountain is one of my favourite rides ever. A rock and roller coaster, soaring, the legs move like it does when you're actually on the ride, like when your legs are swinging. That's from Florida. Finding Nemo, um, he moves across. I can't remember where I got that one from. I think it was probably Florida again. This 
is a Space Mountain Magic Kingdom one. We've got an old Animal Kingdom one. This is from Aladdin the Musical. I got this from the West End show. Aladdin Walt Disney home video. Jumping Jellyfish is actually an attraction in California Adventure. The first time I went was 2004 and I think that's when I got this pin because after that it was 2016 the last time I went. And then there's Big Thunder Mountain here. And I love all my attractions ones, I'd like to collect more of those. My ultimate, ultimate favourite page is my year celebration ones and my fireworks shows, the parks ones and the lands. I absolutely adore this one because it was from when I was working there. These two were both the 25th anniversary ones. And this one says cast member on too, I love that. There's all the different years of the time that I've been to remember them. Disneyland Resort Paris, Fantasyland Disneyland Resort Paris, Walt Disney World, 2000, very important one. Disney Dreams, one of my favorite fireworks shows. 15 years anniversary of Paris, 25 years anniversary of Paris, 35 years of Walt Disney World, 50 years. And then this one actually up here says Euro Disneyland and that will have been from before Disneyland Paris changed its name. This one's Disney California Adventure, so I got that one in 2004 as well. This one was from Disney Magic Music Days, which used to be a program in Disneyland Paris where Meet Mickey is right now. It used to be the Fantasyland Theatre and they used to let dance schools from the UK dance in the theatre every summer and they used to let us do like a big trip of it and do a parade down Main Street or in the studios and you got a pin if you took part in that and you also got a t-shirt and a cap to match. So that's a really nice memory because every time I see the Mickey meet and greet now I always think of the Fantasyland Theatre and how I used to dance in there. This is a pretty recent one that I bought and it's a bronze flip up one and it's the California Castle and it's got a picture of Walt and then it's got one of his famous quotes it's kind of fun to do the impossible and it has Walt's signature. I was a annual pass holder in 2014 for Walt Disney World so while I was an annual pass holder I took advantage of getting the annual pass pins which are exclusive to annual pass holders. All of the previous parades that they've done, I love the parades, it's probably one of my favourite things about the parks. I like to keep them on the card as well because I think it's nice that it says annual pass holder and it reminds me that they are annual pass ones even though it says it on the back of the pin. Here is an Epcot one and it flips around, it says imagining you were here and it has figment on it and Spaceship Earth. I've got all my lanyards here, which I'll get into afterwards, and then just some old autograph books from when I was little. We're not really gonna bother looking at because they're all probably the same characters over and over again. Now we're going on to the princess book. So on the first page, we have the general princess pins. This one says, I am a Disney princess. Now on the first page, I have Snow White but I don't have the compact part of this princess collection, so I just have the portrait of her there. This one says Blanche Neige, and I really like it because it's obviously the translation in French for Snow White, but my middle name is Blanche. That's Snow White and Cinderella, so I thought I'd place them on the same two pages. Another one of these compacts, Cinderella this time, and it's got all the castles on the front, and I love that. And then my Rapunzel page, my favourite princess is Rapunzel. I bought a pack that had four pins in. This one, this one, this one, and this one. And this one says, create your own destiny and follow your heart. And I also got given one of these when I was working in Disney. This one that I got gifted. My mum bought me this one. We've got um, Jasmine and Ariel together. I don't have many Ariel pins, even though she is one of my favourites. But I love this Atlantica castle. I traded for this one. And then we've got the compacts again, Jasmine's castle and Princess Jasmine in there, Ariel and Atlantica. They're such lovely pins, I think they're so nice. And then I've got a little Frozen collection, not much. The Frozen pins always fly off the shelves, so I just got these back in 2014. So I just have Elsa, Anna and Olaf there. Some Frozen merchandise. This Mulan one didn't actually come in the collection with the princess compact mirror ones. But this is similar, it's just a little bit bigger and it has Mulan when she's dressed up as a geisha on the outside and then 
this on the inside, which is really pretty. You could use them as a little mirror, I guess, if you wanted to. We have Belle and Aurora, our French princesses, on the same page. Sleeping Beauty, it says in there. Then their castles on the front. Yep. On the back, I just have some of my celebration buttons that I've collected over the years. This one's from California, so is this one actually. And then these two are from Walt Disney World and then this was from Walt Disney World when I celebrated Mickey Mouse's birthday in Epcot. I'm gonna do the lanyards in order that I got them. So this one was the Disney Cuties collection from Disneyland Paris from a really long time ago. And it came as a pin starter set and I think I traded all of the pins but kept one. The next one I bought was the Tinkerbell one, which is also from Disneyland Paris. And it had a little thing on the end where you used to be able to put your park pass in. This came with pins as well and I think I traded them all. This one isn't actually a pin lanyard, it's actually a bottle lanyard and I still use it to this day when I'm in the park. because You can just put your bottle round your neck and carry your drink without actually having the weight of it in your bag. And it's from the 15th anniversary of Disneyland Paris. This one is a Walt Disney World lanyard and it's on the Velcro. And this is when they started to make them so that you can't get caught in attractions. And it actually pops off like that as well. So you can use this part as a key ring, which I actually might start doing because I like that little bit that says Walt Disney World here. When I first started working in Disneyland Paris, I bought myself this one. Favorite lanyard ever, it says Disneyland Paris at the top got the suns all the way down and then Rapunzel at the bottom and then I just attached one of my old Mickey Mouse pin trading things on the bottom my boyfriend gave me this one it's just a Walt Disney Company blue one which is really nice and I love that they phased in this so that they don't strangle you this one is a lanyard that was made for the show that I was in it's another Disneyland Paris one and it says Le Forêt de l'Enchantement une adventure musicale Disney which is The Forest of Enchantment, a Disney musical adventure, but it's the French translation. It has musical notes and leaves and trees, and it's purple and green and it's lovely, and then just another pocket holder on there. And that's all of my lanyards. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and looking through my Disney pin collection with me. Hopefully I'll see you back here for the next video. See you real soon.